Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker AV tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Auto Life plugin to replicate the re-raise effect. And also it's a part special request tutorial to show you how to make traps. So here we are in a cave and we've got some, uh, some spike traps right here. And you can see that our HP is full, but if we go across we flash the screen, we have a sound effect played, <clears throat> and we've lost 100 HP. You can see that. We're losing HP there. I'm also going to show you how to make a switch, as if you don't know how to make a trap, you probably don't know how to make a switch to turn on and off a trap. So I'll put this in real quick. So we pull the lever, the spike traps go down, and now we take no more damage. I also wanted to show you that you can make traps that do more than just do damage. Look at our MP, it's full. If we go across, we hear a sound effect, and we see a, a screen flash blue, and now we have less MP. So you can make traps that do all kinds of different things. Um, now here's how you, uh, or let me let me showcase the item. Uh, I've made a re-raiser, oh I gave myself too many items. Uh, I made a re-raiser item, I'm going to show you how to make an item that, that creates a state that will uh, bring you back to life, and also a skill that'll bring you back to life. So now let's fight something that's probably going to kill us. Alright. Just have him guard. Um, also a sneak peek for Chris, if you're watching, I'm working on that special request from you. So let me just show you a little bit of what to come. Okay, so we died, we got an, anim uh, an animation, and we got brought back to life with 33% of our HP, but we've lost our re-raise state. So let's uh, use another re-raiser before we die again. I'm sure this is going to end well. Okay, there's no point in repeating that over and over. But you can see that uh, the re-raise state works while you're in combat. <clears throat> but I also want to show you one more thing super quick. Um, the re-raise state doesn't work out of combat for some reason. Um, so let's go ahead and... I guess we could just use the ability real quick. Um, I'm going to cast re-raise on both of these uh, characters, actors. Now if we go across and we're taking damage here, we can see that we have the re-raise re state, but oh, if, if our HP reaches zero, um, we die even with the re-raise state. So it only works in battle. But um, now that we've got that set up, um, let me show you guys how to make that. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about re-raise. Um, first thing you want to do is install the plugin. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can get that plugin. Once you've got that plugin installed, you're going to go to your database and you're going to go to your state. You're going to create a new state called re-raise or auto life or whatever you like. Give it a name, a description. You don't have to mess with any of these things, but you have to include a note tag. So the note tag you're going to include is bracket auto, li auto life colon uh, and then the percentage of life you want uh, them to be restored with. If you don't want uh, to be based off a percentage, say you want them to have 1 HP, then you could just put a number and you'll bring them back with 1 HP instead. Once you've got uh, the state created, you're going to go over to your skills. You're going to make a new state, a new skill called whatever you like, re-raise in this case. Uh, give it a name, an icon, a description. Uh, whatever cost you like, award it to whatever skill. Uh, the scope, I would set it to one ally, unless you want to do like a mass re-raise. You can do that too, and uh, different variations of the same thing, all allies. Occasion, I would say always, always that way you can uh, get, get some buffs in before the fight. But if you want it to be battle only, since it only works in battle, that's always an option as well. Invocation, I would uh, allocate it a certain hit, so it doesn't miss, or your evasion doesn't come into play when you try to use it. Uh, whatever message you like, required weapons, I don't think you should put one, but you can if you want to. Um, damage type doesn't need any, but what we're going to do is right click on, on the, uh, the effects, and you're going to go to other at the bottom, go to common, or actually not common event, you're going to go to state, uh, and add state. You don't actually have to make any common events for this, you just make a state, and uh, award that state, whatever percentage, I would say 100%, so you don't end up wasting your turn, especially at a clutch moment. <clears throat> for the items, very similar, you're going to do the same thing. Um, the Unfly has a nice uh, icon set with a bunch of different uh, potions that you can use to pick for your re-raiser. I've chosen this red one. 
I uh, give it a, a name, a description. Um, uh, regular item is probably what you'd want. Give it whatever price, and you're gonna make this one consumable, unless you want to make like an item that's has unlimited uses. Uh, the scope would be the same thing, one ally, or if you want to have like a mass re-raiser, you could do a variation of this and say all allies. Occasion, I would do uh, always. I would probably have it match the skill, whatever you put for your skill, match it so it's you have consistency throughout the game. But um, it's up to you. Invocation, I would also go with certain hit and then give it any animation you want. I've given it a custom one. Um, same thing here, you're just going to go to effects and add a state, add the state, re raise and that's pretty much it. So that's it for re-raise. Um, now for the spike traps, what you're going to do is you're going to insert a new event. You're going to give it an image. This is the default image that's, that comes with MV, so you can find the spike one. Uh, then we're going to right click, insert new um, flash screen. You don't actually have to do this, but if you want to, you can. I've decided to not wait for completion so it doesn't lag the player. And instead of 60 seconds, I've gone with 15 seconds, so a quarter of a second. Um, I mean, instead of 60 frames, I've gone with 15 frames, so it's a quarter of a second. Intensity, I've dragged it down a little bit, and I just went with the red since we're doing HP damage. But you can have it uh, do whatever you want there. Underneath that, um, you could have a sound effect. I think I actually did a sound effect on one of them. Yeah. So we're going to go with this one. We're going to delete these other ones. We're going to just copy this one. Paste this one. Paste this one. Um, so you only have to design it one time, and then you can uh, just copy paste it. And then uh, give it whatever sound, <coughs> excuse me, whatever sound effect you like. Uh, I've gone with, uh, I think it's a hit one or an attack two. And then you're going to, um, sound effects are on audio tab two. Then you're going to go to change HP. That's going to be tab one under actor, change HP. And you can just specify, I would just probably go with the entire party since the whole party's walking across it. Operation, you're going to decrease, decrease by a constant number. Or uh, if you want to give it a variable, uh, you can say the number of times they walk on the spike traps, they get stronger or something like that. And you can do that as well. Out, allow knockout. I've said yes for this uh, to, to showcase that re-raise doesn't work when you use it out of battle. But um, I think most of the time it would, would just put you at 1 HP and not allow the slip damage uh, knockout. But it's up to you, whatever you want to do with that one. Um, to do a switch, basically what you're going to do is create a, a new uh, event and you're going to give it a graphic to make it look like a switch. You're going to insert insert text saying pull the lever or whatever. You don't even act actually have to do that. Show choices yes or no. When they say yes, play a sound effect. Do a move event. Uh, so that's what we haven't covered yet. Move event. That's going to be on tab 2, set movement route. And then what you're going to do is select this event and then you're going to have it turn, if it's, if it's this icon, you would have it turn left, turn right, turn up. And then that'll have it cycle through the animations. And for this uh, for this one, I've also checked wait for completion. Um, then you're going to have it control a switch. So you're going to um, right click, insert new, go to tab one, control switches. Give it a new switch. I've just called it spike trap lever. Uh, turn that switch on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a new page. You could always just copy this event page and then paste that event page and then just change, the, delete everything out of the contents. Um, but you're going to change the image so that it looks like it's already been activated. So you're going to change it to that one. You're going to select uh, uh, this, the, the, the spike lever trap switch <laughs> that we've uh, allocated and check that. So if that, switch, if that lever is on, the switch is on, then it's going to be this page. And if it's off, it's going to show this thing right here. One thing I also didn't cover is you need to go uh, check this mark right here on options for these spike events. Select through. That way the player can walk through them. And, and also you need to select priority below characters. That way they walk over them. Also the trigger, you need to set it to player touch. So if you don't do this, then they, they'll walk over and nothing will happen because they have to press the OK button for the event to trigger. So we set trigger player touch, priority below characters, and options through. Um, for this second page, what we're going to do is change the graphic, uh, create a new uh, new event page, change the graphic so that it looks like the spikes are down, still checking through, still checking player touch, uh, below characters, um, but you don't really need to have any trigger at all in this because um, you have no contents, nothing's happening when the switch is down. So, but you need to check switch for when this is down, it'll do all of this event. So if that uh, lever's been pulled, this page is going to play, which does nothing, and show this icon, make sure it's still through. And if it hasn't been pulled, it's going to show this page. Really simple. So for this second one, it's pretty much the same thing. 
uh, except I've allowed stepping animation. This uh, causes it to cycle through its animation since I've gone with this animation, and it doesn't really change. Uh, uh, like on a spike traffic, it would show the spikes going up and down, and then you might confuse the player thinking that they can get across without taking damage if they walk at the right time. And if you program the event like this, they can't, and it would just frustrate the player. So I've disallowed stepping on the spike, but for this one, giving a stepping animation just makes it look like it's moving, which looks kind of cool. And for that, you're just going to select the speed and the frequency. Default is fine. You could probably have it go faster. That way it cycles uh, quicker and it looks like it's more animated. But the same thing's happening, except this time I'm flashing the screen blue, changing MP instead of uh, T uh, HP this time. And uh, there's no uh, allow knockout, because unless you have a plugin that would allow knockout if MP is low, I think there's, there is one. And then I'm playing a sound effect, and that's pretty much it for that. So I hope you guys like this video. I'll show you the plugin uh, one time. This is the Auto Life plugin. Not too much going on. It just shows you some uh, updates and it shows you the what you're going to have to put in your states. So thank you guys for watching. Continue to ask your questions uh, in the comments below. Remember to like, favorite, share, and sub subscribe if you want more content. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching again, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.